What's your name? Jackie. Okay, Jackie, tell everybody again, what kind of metal poisoning do you have? What's the name of it? Gadolinium toxicity poisoning. It's a, from radiation, from the MRI. So you had an MRI professionally done in a hospital, and you received this poisoning through what? The injection that they put in your... The IV. The IV. So it has that metal in it. Right. I did not know that. Yeah. And you're supposed to urinate it out within 24 hours. Not only did I hold on to it, they did a second one, which made me worse. So it never came out. How would you know if it came out in your urine? Does it show? I don't know. <laughs> so you didn't know you hadn't urinated it out? I didn't know what was going on. All of a sudden, I started to feel like I had glass in every joint in my body. I couldn't get out of bed. Um, just severe pain. So if somebody grabbed my hand and squeezed it, you know, to shake my hand, I just, oh, and I was like, what is that? And it took me a year to find out what it was because it was last year that it was given to me. So you, you had one. You didn't urinate it out. You had another one. How quickly did you have the second one? Um, I had the first one in March and I had, or February, and the second one I had in June. And, and when did the symptoms start? Immediately after the first one or the second one? Immediately after the first one because I had um, started with irradiating pain down my left uh, hip and into my thigh that was like a burning and I couldn't even walk, I couldn't, I couldn't move at all. And I had to be rushed to the hospital, and they were shooting me up with painkillers, and nobody knew what was wrong with me. Is that why they gave you the second MRI? Because they were trying to find out why this was happening? Exactly. And the second MRI made it even worse? Yes, because then I became more toxic, and I was passing out all the time. So, so you were passing out, you had excruciating pain, you felt like you had glass in your joints, like every joint. Every little bone. Every little bone. And so when you moved, it would just, you, you felt it. Oh, yeah. All the time. I couldn't move my arms like this because I had so much pain. So just doing a simple thing like flexing your arm like this, you felt that pain. Right. And then right here, if somebody just touched that, I would scream. So touching your elbow or your hand. Okay, now I'm touching your elbow right now. How does that feel? It doesn't hurt at all. Now, you said when somebody would take your hand... It would hurt. So I'm going to take your hand. I'm even going to squeeze it a little bit. Does that hurt? No, nope, it's not hurting at all. I'm going to squeeze it tighter. Ready? Does that hurt? Nothing. I got a good grip. I'm going to squeeze it tighter, okay? You all right with that? How's that? Nothing. Okay, one more time. Ready? How's that? Nothing. You just said, it's been a lot to deal with. I can't even imagine. It's, it's something nobody can imagine because you can't see it. So people think, what's wrong with you? You know, my husband every day had to, you know, rub my, my joints or soak my feet or do something. We didn't know what was going on with me. And then when we found out, they said, there's no treatment. There's no treatment for this metal poisoning. None. No, it's the same thing... Um, Oh, who's a karate guy? Um, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris's wife. That's how I found out what I had. Really? Well, we need to pray for her, amen? He's a believer. Wow. Okay, so you found out by just reading her story. How long ago did you find out? Um, February this year. And when did it happen? February last year. So you've had it for over a year, almost a year and a half. When you walked in here tonight, what level of pain were you at? Probably an eight. Seven, eight tonight. And if anybody touched you, would that send the pain up even higher? Oh, yeah. Especially on my, my feet, too. The, what happens with the metal is it forms in your body at certain points, and it feels like something's cutting you inside. So I would just scream and jump, and my husband's like, what? And I'm like, I, I don't know. Something cut me. And it would just happen. It would happen only in my lower arms, my hands, my feet, and the lower part of my leg, and across the top of my stomach. Come here and hold the mic. Come here. Hold the mic. That's going to go down, babe. Okay, so step back just a little bit. Put your arms out. Do you mind me touching you? No, go ahead. You okay? Nothing. Nothing. Arms, feet? Yeah. Oh, my, like right here on the sides of my toes especially, I guess that's where the, the metal was forming on the joints. And if you touch the, the joints or anything, it would just be... Metal, again. The metal would form in the joints, and so when you would touch it, it was just painful. I would scream. 
Are we ready? Nothing. Wow. Wow. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing. Did you see how, did you see how hard I did that? Yeah. I was... <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Let's give God the biggest praise ever!